So a little while ago I took out my clock spring and fixed it, or replaced it. So here's the old one that I replaced. This one's broken, so I thought some of you might want to see what the inside of one of these looks like. So I'm going to dissect this one and pull it all apart so you can see it. So I'm going to pull this piece off and then I'll be back. Alright, I got that cover off now. Now you can see that string. See that when I turn it, it tightens up. When I loosen it, it loosens up. And that string is what carries the signals from these wires. Let's see if I can pull that out. Now it's going to take a little more force, so I'll be back. Okay, I got that off. So now you can see this. And that's the actual string inside the clock screen. It doesn't actually look that bad. Well, I guess it could be broken right there. Kind of sticky. Huh, I guess it's lubricant of some kind. You can see the wires go into that little clip. They go into this little clip right here. And then that connects to there. But on this one, you got the clip going into there. And that connects into that one. And I think I just found the break. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's sit down here. You can see right there it's all creased. You can see the uh, traces are pulling up right in there that's probably why it stopped working nothing was working on the steering wheel so that's why I replaced this so I guess now we know why just wonder if I can fix this I'm gonna see if I can fix this just for the hell of it cuz I don't have anything to do right now so I'll be back again alright I got that off you can see the clip here where it's broken what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to drill out these rivets here and I'm gonna see if I can cut this and clamp it inside here farther so that the good part is clamped in there. Well I got this all these rivets drilled out, got it apart and this is what I found. It would appear it just makes a 90 degree turn and it's like soldered into there. You gotta slide it out from under those tabs when you take it apart. See, it's just bent at a 45 degree angle. And I guess it's so just soldered to these wires. Uh, yeah, or, or maybe not even. It may just be cr crimped down in there. I'm going to see if I can fix that though. And be back. Well, I uh, fell around with it for a little while. And uh, it looks like you could repair it if you want to, but I already put the new one in, so I'm just not even going to worry about it. But if you could get these ends stripped clean of the copper just like this one is, you could probably just either clamp it in there or solder it in. And that would be a pretty good way to save yourself some money. The new one was like 60 bucks for an off-brand one. This is the original Ford one. So if you could figure out a way to fix this, you could save yourself quite a bit of money. But if you do fix it and you screw it up, it's not my fault. You do what you want. But yeah, I if I had the time I used to, I'd probably try it. But I don't feel like dealing with it right now. So I guess I'll just cut the wires off of this and the rest will get taken to the dump along with the other stuff. Alright, see ya.